when we're practicing our 20-foot uh, putt and we do it over and over, we see improvement. And we say, that's great, I think I've got it. They, we don't understand that leans on short-term memory and when we come back to the course another day, it, we're not gonna be that good at it. When it's more difficult and you mix up your practice of your golf strokes or your uh, geometry problems or whatever it is you're learning, it feels hard. So intuitively you think, I'm, I don't think I'm getting it. You don't perceive uh, that you are getting it and uh, the, the research is compelling. That particular one of mixing up your problem types, is, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, uh, has been done uh, where people are learning to identify the works of painters. The participants insist they learn better if they see a lot of Van Goghs before they see a lot of Renoirs, before they see a lot of another painter. Uh, but it, it turns out that those very same people who felt that learn better the works of painters where the, the examples were all mixed up. They became better at identifying the unifying qualities of a painter's work and the differentiating qualities. And then when they would see a painting by one of these painters uh, that they hadn't seen before, they, they were better at identifying who did it. The same thing with identifying uh, birds and different bird families. So the research is there and the intuition is, runs counter to it. You can't rely on your intuition uh, to be uh, your guide. Uh, you need to recalibrate your judgment of what you know and don't know. Quizzing is a great way to do that. Flashcards, anything that causes you to have to demonstrate you have the mastery you think you have will help you check whether your intuition is correct or not.